Good Monday morning, I am MPJ and you are watching Fun Fun Function. So today is one of those days, I don't know if you know this, but I am in the middle of moving apartments. And this, we're moving on Tuesday and this is gonna be the last, last time you see this uh, in the background. That is gonna be different. I'm not even sure exactly how it's gonna look like, it's gonna be very interesting. But as a result, everything is a mess and especially this day. Uh, I, I am super tired and super confused, but I really want to make a video because I always want to make a video and I don't want to think about moving for a little while. But my energy is way too low for uh, a, a serious episode, so I asked on Twitter for a, a suggestion on a light-hearted or just dumb topic. Oh, I need a hat. Oh, now you can't see my face. That looks horrible. Kale Newman, politics! No! I try not to talk about politics on my Twitter feed, but I kind of end up doing it anyway. It's kind of like, ah, uh, you have this, you know when you have a cold and you sometimes get these white things inside your your mouth that, that hurts when you touch them with your tongue, but you still keep... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Damien suggests facial hair maintenance. <laughs> what about the diet and lifestyle of a healthy programmer? I don't know anything about that. Maybe a simple explanation of what proxies are in ref- That's not light-hearted! Clint Trout and how to make cinnamon toast. I like where you're going, but it's not quite what I'm looking for. Paul Lewis, making the least readable hello world imaginable. We have a winner! This is amazing! We're gonna make such a dumb Hello World example. Alright, let's begin a project. We should, like, for our Hello World... Let me adjust the camera. It's... Oh, camera. There. There. Alright, Hello World. So our objective is to display the text Hello World. Uh, the first step is obviously to create a React app. So create React app. Uh, hello world displayer. No, 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 no. Hang on, we can't do this. We first need to uh, invent a name for our product. Project, project. Let me pull up a browser here. Let's let's brainstorm some names. Uh, names for software projects. Okay. Hmm, naming your software projects in five minutes or less. Cool. From now on, I will generate all software projects name using a random word generator. Okay, awesome. For my most recent project, I used a random word plus. Okay, let's click that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right. Word Q. No, no. Smile. Pop. No. Food. No. Okay. What? This is not helping. Phrase. Unaccepted mod, no. Waiver jurisdiction, quavering lonesome. This year flouncing. Unprecedented midwife. Yes, yes. What, what does that even, that, that sounds horrible. Unprecedented midwife, that's our app. All right, it's creating it. Uh, right, oh cool, we now already have a package. Jarn, that's, that's good, that's good. Da, 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 installing, installing. I need to tweak my terminal while it's doing things. That's kind of okay, I think. I'm gonna just pull it all out. There. Okay, we're ready to. Okay, I think we just go npm start, right? No! Damn it, what's happening? Uh, what, what, what? Yarn page. Yarn PHG start. Could not find a package. No, okay, we need to go into the actual uh, catalog. Uh, unprecedented midwife. And let's start. That should start the development server. <whistles> Welcome to React. Oh, awesome, awesome. All right, cool. I'm gonna open up a new, a new tab here and I'm going to uh, open up Visual Studio Code. Okay, so there's some noise here. I think that we want to remove this logo here uh, and re delete 
delete this header. What is happening with my keyboard? I went to get new batteries, but of course the batteries have been packed down. <laughs> Alright, let's just power through. Let's delete this, delete this, delete this. You know what? I'm going to use the terminal inside of, of Visual Studio instead. Integrate it. Integrate. Integrate. Open integrated. Where's the terminal? Terminal, terminal, terminal. Open your terminal. No, I don't. I want the integrated terminal. Uh, Integrated. I think it's toggle integrated terminal. Yes, there. Damn, that was hard. Okay, go npm start. Start. No, it's yarn. Yarn package. Start. Oh, it's already running. Uh, no, I don't. I want to stop the old ones. Let's kill this. This terminal go away. And I'm gonna place the React app over here so that we can see it at all times. Uh, all right, run again. Run again. Uh, is it running now? No, don't run there. Okay. Okay. So I type something here. And cool, we now have live reloading for our, our Hello app, Hello World app. Keyboard! Mm. Ah. All right, so the first thing we need to do, I think, is to TDD this. I think we need to pull, I think we should pull in Enzyme. So like uh, import, and uh, how do you do this? Enzyme, quick start. And some React. Blue, 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 blue. All right, it's import shallow. So just do this, and then we want to render app. Oh, we do this right. We do shallow, and then we stop doing overlays. Yes paste this in here and I think that it and that returns a wrapper and we comment this out and this out expect uh, wrapper dot find we expect to find a a, a div and I think that should ha have some text and then to be to to equal well, uh, 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 hello world maybe okay I'm gonna start running some tests here npm test I think it's gonna run them just Cool, it failed. Could not find module enzyme. No, that's correct. We need to add it. Uh, yarn add uh, enzyme. All right, npm test. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cannot find module. React add-ons test utils. Okay, join and that. All right, npm test. Is it working? No, fail, 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 fail. Cannot read property equal of undefined. Uh, perhaps this is just different from the examples. Uh, I need to what 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 is happening what all oh, right just yes, this is probably expect JS yes, or I don't really know but I think this is how just syntax is yes expected value to be hello world but it was empty so if I now do hello world here world it should pass Cool, and if I change again, it's gonna be like, yes, yes. It expected value to be hello world, and hello worlds, right. But this is like our, mm -hmm. this is completely flawed and not complete yet because this string is not localized. I wonder how you localize strings in React. Let's find that out. React localize strings. 
uh, React localization, simple module to localize a React interface using the same thing, like blah, 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 blah. Okay, okay, let's see. Uh, let's import things uh, and oh, semicolons. Uh, and uh, let's uh, let's import this string here. Oh, what is this? Is hmm hmm. Okay, like hello world, world, world. I don't know what I'm doing. It, that's English, uh, and it's it's not. What is up with this? Mm. Spacing. Spacing, man. And I'm gonna replace the string with a hello world. Hello world. And we're gonna have. Uh, we we want to have Swedish, of course. Uh, and uh, hey, Vaden. And we want. What other languages do you want? We want uh, Spanish. So, uh, uh, hello world. Uh, English to Spanish. Hola mundo. That was absolutely the correct pronunciation. What is, is it that ES perhaps? All right, so how do I use this? Uh, 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 what S -s then the strings oh like in the render what so i just do strings dot, dot hello world will that work okay what cannot okay we need to install this hang on hang on uh, uh no wrong ah ah mm. waiting for the yarn okay not that one we need to paste this that in react localization great 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 now we have that let's run it no okay come on use yarn it was fast they said uh yeah npm test mm -hmm. okay it's running okay it, it's past how, how does this work now no Shh. what what is this what is this it open what what cash what i'm not asked for it what yes what i'm, I'm gonna Let's let's just npm run again. There's there's fail. Ah, have you tried turning it on and off again? All right. So can I now change this 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 language somehow? Set language. Set what? Set language language code. So if I do what? Do this. Strings dot set language. Uh, equals SV does that update it oh cool now it's 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 localized but this is bad because this is a global variable and we need to inject it into the react component so uh, let's 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 okay we're gonna inject it like with this dot uh, props The is not defined. Okay, this, this. All right, this is gonna break because we have, there's no such pro property yet. I'm, I'm surprising that it doesn't crash more, but okay, yeah, it's crashing on the client side. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna move the localized strings out here uh, and we're going to go to the, the main index.js uh, and let's let's inject strings uh, I think you just do like this strings and and it, in you go strings string strings cool cool strings is not defined where where are you not defined you're not defined in app jazz no what all right, it's this language here. Hang on, we need to do this at this point here. Cool, hey Varden. But now I suspect that our tests are, are breaking, right? Because, yes, uh, because it's not taken into account that we are now injecting the, 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 um, the, this, uh, the string. So let's see if we can... Um, hmm, hmm. 
Hmm. Let's update the test. Uh, and uh, we have to mock out the strings thing. So let's say that uh, it's going to be a fake strings. And how does it look? It looks for just hello world, right? So it's going to be hello world. Uh, and it's waffles. And it's going to be waffles. What? Why does it fail? We're in, oh, we're not injecting it yet. Hang on. Uh, strings. Uh, uh, fake, fake strings. Okay, cool. Can we get this from like the local, from the browser somehow? Get preferred language user browser. I have not done this in a long time. Let's see. Uh, uh, navigate your language. I'm just, like, just scanning and <laughs> just pasting it into my code. Worst, worst. That actually worked. I can't believe that worked. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's not good that that behavior was rewarded at all. All right. How can we? Uh, this is still not very complicated. I wanna. Uh, is there a dependency injection framework for React? Dependency in injection framework. React. No need for dependency injection. I know, but we're looking for one now. Uh, React DI. <laughs> yes, somebody actually made one. Uh, oh, we can install via Bower. Uh, mm, mm. Oh, I'm, I'm tempted to pull in Bower, but uh, like there are limits. Uh, yarn add React DI. I have to read this for a little bit. Um, Oh, hang on. Resolver inject React. Oh, this causes React DI to intercept every call to Re React create element. React DI, DI then enhances your element's props with DI property. Oh my god. This is exactly what we're looking for. All right, all right, let's do this. Uh, let's import uh, React. D no, we need to do it outside, right? Uh, Im Im import React DI uh, from React DI. And then we create a new resolver. Cool. And then Oh, we can inject the dependencies straight in here, I think. And so we inject strings, cool. And then we do uh, resolver dot inject react. All right, and now I can do this, right? So I can, uh, I think that I can do uh, const strings equals, but not message because that's from their example. It's, uh, it's, it's strings. Uh, and then I go strings, strings dot hello world. Let's, let's see if this, this works. NPM starts. I think this already, hang on, hang on. Oh, it's, it's doing it again. Uh, I think, did I add the React DI? Yarn, add React DI. All right, let's do this. 
Das ist das. 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 This props the eye is not a function. Okay, so I guess we could fake the fake the di, and I could just do uh, like this and strings, string, string, strings. No! Ah! There, there, and I inject this as a as a props, as a prop, di, di, does that work? No, it fails. Why does it fail? Oh my god. This props di is not a function. It should no, it needs to be uh, 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 uh. it's a function, so it needs to be uh, like uh, service, ah, new keyboard as well. Um, uh, if uh, service equals string return, hmm, how, let me look at the code again. Okay, it's it's supposed to return like this object then like 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 that oh i need curly brackets <laughs> why is it why is this wrong oh it's just i need one curly bracket too many okay cool our tests are green this is nice because this is now way much more convoluted than we um, than we had before um, we're now um, we're now pulling in like this extra thingy here and uh, like a completely new library. Good, good. I think that it's also very appropriate to pull in Redux here uh, in for uh, in order to manage complexity and uh, and and performance and uh, and things. Okay, how do we do this? Uh, how does Redux work? I, I keep forgetting like every single time. React Redux. Okay, hey. Uh, mm, official React bindings here. npm install save React Redux. Oh, this will probably break because yarn. Ah. Maybe that's okay. It's a peer. Does React Redux has a, as a peer dependency? Peer dependencies are evil, man. Don't use them. Uh, yarn pkd add Redux and React Redux. Oh, yarn. It's so great that we have two package managers for JavaScript now. Thank you, Facebook. The JavaScript community is sort of like uh, communist parties. They constantly split into smaller and smaller parties. Usage with React. How, how does it work? Hello, hello. Mm. Oh, I just want a simple example here. Why are you making things so complicated? All right, how does this work? I think that we first set up a store. I'm gonna make a new file here. Um, function. Uh, let's say like uh, we're just gonna call it like hello he hello world store. It's great, and it's going to be like case init and then it's going to return. String uh, name and it's going to be hello world so that we can configure this 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 later and then we're going to just return state oh I forgot the switch itself like switch uh, action action 
dot type. If, if uh, Redux is unfamiliar to you, that is because you um, you are not hipster enough. Say what? Have I, s I accidentally saved it as entitled one? I want like this is stored.js maybe, uh, and I want to export default. Uh, and then I can create, import this thing. I'm gonna be imported here. I'm gonna import, uh, import, import, import. Uh, what was its name? Hello world store from uh, store. Cool. Okay, and I'm gonna create, create store from the hello world store. No, it's not quite store. This is like hello world reducer, maybe. Uh, reducer. Reducer. Naming is really important for uh, projects of, of, uh, of this scale. Reducer. I placed it in the wrong directory too, there. Okay, cool, create store. We need to import create store from React Redux. I'm gonna paste it here. Cool. And we also need to dis have a dispatch uh, the init event so that it actually renders. Dispatch type dot init. And um, hmm, let's see, now we need to tie these things up and then we need React Redux and then we need to create a map state to props. State, no, ah, uh, yeah. Okay, cool, and this should return um, an object with ha huh, ha huh, props props and this is gonna have oh yeah the, the, I think that this should return the strings and then that is get uh, uh, hang on get get strings and this will take the state. Uh, no, hang on. Get greeting is, is a good name, and it's going to take state dot, and we look at the state, and that it's this string name here. So it's state dot string name, and we need to create this function. Function get greeting. It takes the string name. This will then. Uh, take strings. This is a little bit tricky because it needs to it needs to get the name here, right? The, the, the string name. But uh, I I'm thinking that this is like the dependency injected thingamabob. Uh, can I just do like 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 this string string name? Yeah, I'm looking at. So how do we map this maps dispatch state to prop? We need to import connect, whatever that is. Uh, okay, uh, and then we're gonna connect that to our React component. Uh, so this is going to be like uh, our uh, connected app, maybe. Uh, we don't use we don't have any actions inside of it yet, so we don't need that. We need to keep this. It's important that you don't. Uh, I, I remove this because it's important that you remove superfluous things that you don't uh, don't need in your app. Keep it as lean as possible. So this is wrapped now in our connected app, and it's going to be like now it's the connected app instead. This is a little bit tricky because I don't know how to get injected things 
into these these mappers here uh, we have to find that out somehow okay it has its own props maybe we can figure that out Ah, I, I, I'm, I'm so confused by my own thing now. Let's just run it and see um, uh, see, see what happens. Uh, okay, everything is broken. Uh, hello world reducer is, is defined but not used. Hello world store is not defined. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hello world reducer is not used. No, because we named it. All right. See what is happening here. I there's a warning. It oh excellent. It expects a default case. Uh, default. More code. More code. Action is not defined. Oh yeah, because it, it wants a state and an action. This is how Redux works. If you don't know what I'm doing, you're not a real programmer. You are an ethereal ethereal programmer. You don't you don't have corporeal form yet. Could not ah could not what what is could not find store in either context or props or connect app either wrap the component in a provider or explicitly pass store as a prop to connect app what wrap in a provider i think this is what it you, you do you like to do provider and uh, and this this is how it Oh. <laughs> never change keyboards that is the most important productivity advice i can i can give anyone okay provider is not defined i think you have it's it's somewhere here provider provider what wrong here provider 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 to magically make the store available. Thank you magic. That is exactly What we want in this project as much as, as possible uh, But we do have a provider. Yeah, it's here now. Okay, cool. Does that work? Yeah, but the provider needs to have a store Is this how you do it? And I go pass in the store like that. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Uh, it can it it's it's not completely tied together yet, um, because I I want it to actually use because it's now using these injected things, but I think that. Uh, the way React Redux works, I think it should just inject in, inject this as a property, like this uh, props, and it will basically do make this into a property. Uh, so so strings dot hello world maybe no no um, hang on hang on uh, greeting. Greeting. This should be named greeting. So I add greeting. Oh, <laughs> okay, cool. So this is now uh, no longer needed. Um, unfortunately, I was hoping that we could, we could. No, it is needed. Hang on. Uh, we, we just need to access it from a more convoluted place because I think that this thing here now has like this is own props and uh, and 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 so we need to pass in uh, own uh, 
props.di and that will be di here uh, so that we can do uh, di uh, and get the strings and the string name. Yes! Oh my god! This is so convoluted! Uh, let's see if the test runs. Like, they are, are probably long since broken. We need to fix those. Okay, at uh, expected value to be waffles. No, we're not doing this properly at all. How do you even test Redux things like this? It's supposed to just have this props greeting. I suppose that we could then just go this uh, go like greeting equals uh, waffles and then this is unfortunately no longer needed uh, but the test passed so now app has gotten unfortunately gotten simpler crap uh, but we have managed to add a lot of convolution using this uh, hello world store which is nowadays called hello world reducer uh, and uh, this map state to props is also great uh, extra complexity and this get greeting here that is map I think that taking this a step forward you could perhaps use react reselect here or something like I'm gonna put this code up on on uh, on github and link it in the episode description and uh, you people can make pull requests that I will just liberally accept and we can make this into the uh, worst convoluted piece of, of shit ever conceived that's it for today I really hope that you did not learn anything from this episode if so you should forget it Again, please submit a pull request or a comment for ideas on how to make this example a lot worse. And that's it for today. Um, you have just watched an episode of Fun Fun Function. I make these and produce, publish these uh, every Monday morning, 0800 GMT time. If you don't want to wait until next Monday, you can watch this episode right now that some machine learning dwarf entity has picked for your specific meat based coal based brain. I am MPJ. Until next Monday morning, stay curious.